All right, question number six A. We are given a hexagon where there are two parallel sides and one angle is 90, one is 140, the other one is 120. We have to calculate EFA, EFA, this angle. And it's for four marks, which means it's not going to be straightforward, okay? So we have to find the other missing angles, this one and this one, to get this one. So because this is a hexagon and we can always find the sum of interior angles, which is given by the formula 180 times N minus 2, where N this n means the number of sides and in a hexagon or you can just count there are six sides so this becomes 180 times 6 minus 4 sorry 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 180 times 4 is 720 okay so we can create an equation that 720 minus if I take out all these sides and I will be I will have this side okay as a remaining side so 720 minus 120 minus 140 we still have to find this side so I will leave a space and this side 90 and this side I don't know and then this side is is what we are looking for okay and remember in the exam whatever you know just write it there okay maybe you may not may not get four marks but you you will still get two to three marks okay Okay, so we have to find these two sides and if I just draw this one again here, remember this is a, my parallel side, I am just extending it a bit longer. Okay, this is my ED and and this is my AB and a bit longer and this is my um, FA side and then this is my DC side, okay. And you can see that this is a parallel line, this is a parallel line and then these two are another parallel line, right. And when we have opposite parallel lines, it becomes a parallelogram. And then this angle, which is D, and then this angle, which is A, they are equal, okay? So if this is 140, then this is 140, okay? So this is 140, that's something I got. And then if you draw a diagonal through the parallelogram, this becomes exactly half, so this becomes 70, and this becomes 70, okay? So I can do that too. This becomes 70 and then this becomes 70 and this is a becomes a quadrilateral which means the in sum of interior sides is 360 so if this is 70 this is 70 this is 90 so if I deduct all of these three from the 360 I will get this which is 130 okay the other way I can find this 130 is if I extend this line exactly this exactly straight and if I extend this line exactly straight remember again this is a parallel line this is a parallel line and the interior angles of parallel lines should add up to 180 this is 90 then this should be 90 okay and if I angles on a straight line add up to 180 this is 140 plus another 40 will give me 180 okay and this is the remaining one I can find from total angles in a triangle are 180 and if I deduct 40 and 90 from this one I will get 50 then again I'm going on a straight line should I add up to 180 and this will be the remaining part of the 180 which is 130 which is, this is a bit longer way but this was a quicker but a bit more technical way okay so I got this 130 here and I got this 140 here so I, where are my spaces okay this was 130 I have to deduct and I have to deduct 140 also right and this will give me a 100 okay and let's go to part B then we are given a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD now because they are cyclic quadrilateral it has some meaning okay angle ABC is 100 and angle BDC is 30 calculate the angle ACB A C B so this is what we are looking for in the first question okay this is, let me say this is my X there are actually two ways we can find uh, this one I will let you know both both of them okay now this angle starts from A goes to the circle and ends at B is there is any other angle which starts from A and touches the circle and uh, ends at B this one okay this one this angle it starts with A at the circle and then adds, ends at B okay so this angle should be X as well okay and this angle is very easy to find why because the interior angles 
inner cyclic quadrilateral should add up to 180 okay so this both of these angles should add up to 180 this is 100 this is 30 the remaining is 50 okay so this becomes 80 this is 100 100 plus 80 is 180 okay so this is 50 if this is 50 then this is 50 okay now the other way which we could have done this one is if you were to find this angle which is again very easy because this angle starts from C at the circle and ends at B again for this one it starts with C and it is ending at B so if this is 30 this is 30 okay this, these are known as angles on the segment so if this is 30 this is 100 the whole triangle should add up to 180 so this is the remaining 50 again okay so this was the second way we can do that now angle BXC is 89 let me write that BXC is 89 this one calculate the angle CAD C a D this angle is what we are looking for now this time and this is another triangle and if this is 89 this is 89 because they are vertically opposite sides and now we can complete the triangle again the whole triangle should be 180 if I take out 50 and 89 from 180 I will get this side which is 41 okay so it's 80 180 minus 89 minus 50 will give me the remaining 41 okay complete the statement triangles axd and bxc are what axd this was 41 and this side will be 41 okay so angle axd and bxc bxc now as you can see both of them have 89 both of them have 51 both of them have 41 so both of them are similar okay you can say both of them are similar now for part C P Q R and S lie on a circle now because they lie on a circle their ratio their, their ratio will be same okay the ratio of their side is to the area okay remember that P R and Q S intersect at Y PS is equals to 11, QR is 10, the area of one of them is given, we have to find the area of the other one, okay? So PS is 11, this side is 11, QR, this side is 10, the area of this one is given is 23 centimeters squared, and this is what we are looking for in centimeters squared, okay? So we'll just compare the ratio of the two and we'll get the answer, as simple as that, okay? So let me take the unknowns area is what we are looking for the area square for this one divided by its length 11 should be equal to this area 23 centimeter square this is already squared divided by its length now remember this value is squared this value is squared but these two are not square so we will square them to have a fair comparison okay so now I will just use my algebra to get the answer for this okay so 11 square I will cross it up on this side and I will have a the area in squared I will get it's 23 over 10 square times 11 squared okay which is 27.83 to three significant figures it will be 27.8 okay Part D, a regular polygon has n sides, so n they are using as the number of sides. Each exterior angle is equal to n over 10 degrees. This is they are given, they are giving how much one of the exterior angle is equal to. And what do we have to find? Okay, we have to find n. Okay, this is what is what we are looking for. Now we know the sum of the exterior angle is 360 always the sum of all the sides if we add so if we divide them by the side we will get the how much one side has okay so but they are they have already given us one side is n over 10 
So the sum of exterior angle is 360. If we divide by the number of side, we will get how much one side has, which they have already given. So it becomes a formula, okay, to solve. So N, I will just cross it over here. And 10, I will cross it over here. I will have 3,600. 360 times 10 is 3600 n times n is n squared the square will come on this side it will, it will become a square root so it will be 3600 root here is equals to n remember n is the number of side okay square root of 3600 is 60 so n is equals to 60 so there were 60 sides Part 2. Find the size of an interior angle of this polygon. Now you should remember that if we have an exterior angle, for example this one and this is the whole shape, this is the whole shape and the exterior angle plus the interior angle should add up to 180, okay? This exterior angle and the interior angle. They are asking us for the interior angle. Do we know what is the exterior angle? They have already given us a formula for the exterior angle which is n over 2 okay and we already know what is n sorry not 2 n over 10 and we already know n is 60 divided by 10 so this is our angle exterior angle is 6 degrees it should add up to 180 if I add the interior angle it, they should add up to 180 okay so exterior angle plus the interior angle they should add up to 180 always okay so is it this is positive 6 here on the right hand side it will be a negative so it will be 180 minus 6 which is 174 and finally this long complicated question is done